Hey Matt, my name is Jared. My wife and I work with small companies, small businesses, medium-sized businesses around the country. And what we want to talk about is Google and how we can get ranked on there. Okay, so Google gets 63,000 searches per second. Google searchers trust Google. I did before I knew everything I know. Now I know that the whole thing's manipulatable and that it's just a matter of who knows what the hell they're doing, right? So anyways, being ranked builds that credibility, right? Most people don't understand that and that is going to give you an instant trust factor because they already trust Google, Google trusts you, it just rolls downhill, right? There is no need to reinvent the wheel here. Like I said, this is all manipulatable. People have done this, I've done this, we can do this again, okay? So just going to compare you and a competitor, talk about the differences, the amount of traffic you're getting, three ways to get you to the first page, what keywords are you being found for, and then how to get ranked for those keywords, all right? so. Let's jump right into it. All right, so here we are on the website. It does appear to be a little outdated, a little 90s, um, you know, but that can be fixed. We can get that fixed by, you know, just building out a quick website and getting all of this stuff kind of updated, right? So that could be something in the cards. But let's go ahead and save this image as, so it saved it as your name, West Hampton, New York. That's going to be about it for photos. Let's try this one same name so we want to have the, the, all of the names of all of our photos kind of being similar but different right so we want to have a keyword we want to have your name we want to have the location and we want to make sure that they are kind of diversifying and we are taking it of uh, the opportunity to get found for those keywords the amount of content that you have on the site is pretty small uh, as far as the home page goes right so we might see this when we look at the back end but usually people's home page is going to be the strongest page of the website so it's very important to really build that out so that you have not only room to put the keywords and show Google what the website uh, actually wants to be found for, but it gives you the opportunity to build out backlinks, right? So it gives you time to come up with keywords and things that you can turn into hypertext and link into the back pages and transfer that strong homepage authority back into the back of the website. All right, so it's important to have your homepage and your back pages linked together as often as possible. This is going to be your menu. These are not... It's going to connect to the pages, but it's not going to be enough, right? So we need to have things within the website, taking people through the website, making it easy for them to navigate as much as possible. Let's jump straight into AREFs. All right, so again, this is AREFs. You can see right up here at the top. Um, but we typed in the website right here. So this is going to be the home page, right? Like I said, so what I typed in is the home page URL. That's going to be this page. And then your back pages, um, even though I didn't look at them, I could guess, you know, that they're going to be less powerful than the home page. Right, so yours are way less powerful, so they're really dragging it down. But your home page is a 12. Your whole website with all of your back pages and everything is all the way down at a 0 0.2. So it's going to be very difficult to be ranking for things. Again, you don't have a lot of content, so you're not getting found for a ton of keywords. Um, but how we're going to adjust the strength of the website is going to be through the referring domains and backlinks. All right, so you need to reach out to other websites, which is a referring domain, and get them to link back to your website, which is a backlink. Right? And we need to make sure those websites are trusted by Google and then go ahead and chase it down, you know, whether, however long it takes. Sometimes it's really easy. Sometimes you actually have to get a hold of somebody, get verified, and it becomes a whole process, right? So some are easy, some are hard. Usually it's worth it. You know, the harder it is, the better it is for you. You're getting 15 traffic each month, and that is going down. You can see both of these have gone down. So I don't know if the website was updated or more likely Google's algorithm has changed and you're not quite meeting the cut, right? So... They're going to continue to push you down if you're not following their steps, their loops, their guidelines, things like that. All right, so here in the keyword section, you can see this is where you're ranking here on the very right-hand side of the numbers. And again, a lot of these numbers, you just got pushed down uh, quite a bit, actually. So something must have changed, uh, and it's time to adjust with the times, right? So we have to stay on top of this every month and continue to adjust as we move forward. But Locksmith, Hempstead, New York is going to be one of those good ones you're wanting to get found for. Out of 40 people each month, you cannot, you're, you're getting less than one, right? So the only thing you're really getting traffic from is America Key. Uh, so if somebody's searching for you or something like that, you're sitting at the third position for that as well. So none of your uh, keywords are ranking number one. And again, it's because your back pages, your home page doesn't have them, and your back pages are not having the authority. So we got to fix both of those issues and get you ranked for the keywords. All right, so here I just went ahead and typed in Locksmith, Hempstead, New York. This is how we're going to find, or West Hempstead would be another one. 
Um, but this is how we're going to find our competitors, right? So we're trying to outrank these folks. So we want to see what they're doing, do what they're doing, and then do a little bit more. Okay, because it's already working for them. So we need to do what they're doing and do a little bit more. So right here, you can see people are running ads. There's 40 plus locksmiths that are running an ad um, or are, you know, listed. So then three of them are running an ad at the top. You can run more ads here. You can also run an ad at the top of the map pack. And then this right here, you cannot pay to be here. To be here, you have to be qualified through Google's eyes. All right, and that's going to be through citations, having your name, address, and phone number, and get it, getting it out there on as many directories and high-powered websites as possible. That's going to show Google that you're serious about this and that your information is indeed correct. The next thing you want to do is to campaign for five-star reviews. So as you go out and unlock somebody's car, to have a tablet or something like that where they could do a quick review or that you can text them that review link and get as many of those as possible is going to be key, you know, offering incentives and things like that as well. Right down here, you can see that Yelp is taking the first two and Yellow Pages, Thumbtack, Home Advisor, Angie's List, and then Top Lock New York is going to be the first um, actual company that's getting ranked here on the home page or first page of Google, right? So Google doesn't want these uh, directories to be here. This is in absence of qualified websites, okay? So it is very possible to outrank these guys. We just have to be qualified and do it properly. All right, Mitch, that is all I've got for you. I really appreciate you, uh, you know, spending this time with me. Um, just a quick recap here, 1,500 words of content on that homepage is really going to help you get found for more of those keywords as well as naming those photos, changing your titles, your tags, all of the things that come in with the on-site SEO of the website. Rank in the map pack is going to be done through citations and reviews. You know, Make sure you do your proper keyword research not only for your website but for your citations as you go and try and rank in the map pack. All right. So we talked a little bit about the AdWords. You, know, you can sit there at the top and that little carousel there's ads that um, are there at the top above the map pack and then you can get an ad in the map pack too so if there is cheap or if there's no one there those are opportunities to stand out from your competitors and it's immediate all right so and then we're trying to rank in the organic section i know we saw a lot of directories that's not what google wants to see and so we have to go out and get more high quality backlinks and show google that we are a local business and they will help us um, because they understand that small businesses cannot compete with large corporation type of websites. All right, so they give a small business the leg up, especially if you are local and not national. All right, so let's go ahead and get that done, get it ranked for you. My name is Jared. My phone number is 402-515-7222. All right, we'll talk soon.